So today we are in Brooklyn, guys. After work, I worked 10 to 6. I had to travel to Brooklyn for my longtime good friend and client. Her name's Nicole, and she lives in Brooklyn. And she's been supporting my business since the very beginning, as far as since she's met me. Um, today we are doing a full head weave with a closure, 4x4. Um, she wanted some curls in her hair, so because I have straight hair, we're just going to curl it and wand it and then pin curl it for her at the end. But I am doing a beehive. Um, unfortunately, when she had box braids, um, she left them in too long. There is such a thing as leaving in your protective style too long. Everybody's hair is different depending on how much you're pulling the hair, putting it in a ponytail trying to do extra styles with it if you have weaker edges um, it's important for you to make sure that you do not keep the hairstyle in for too long so to lessen the stress around her edges i'm doing um, a beehive so that those edges can be relaxed still tucked in and then i'm going to use some of my edge control to make sure that any of her coarser hair lays down so during this time we've never really recorded uh when we work together but i was letting her know that you know my videos when i'm doing tutorials have been getting a lot of traction a lot of views so i wanted to make sure that i captured how it is being a mobile hairstylist when you're traveling to your client's home So as part of this video, you're going to see me speed up the process a little bit so that we're not here all day. So basically, um, because I was working, I had asked one of my friends that also does hair um, to pick up some products for me because I was going to order it on Amazon and I forgot and then it would have been too short period of time and I would have been really risking it so I asked her to get a big spool of thread for me so that I don't keep running out of the little ones and also a net cap but unfortunately the store did not have what I needed so we had to improvise that is something that as a hairstylist especially a traveling hairstylist you're going to have to improvise 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 and try to make sure that your bag is packed before you get to your location because let me just tell you Russian, Russian, Russian. I only had one needle. One lucky needle was in the bottom of my hair bag. I had no other needle and I forgot to tell my friend to buy it. So because I didn't really mean to have a cap, I had to sew down the cap to her braids and any excess cap I had to cut off. And I also cut off the middle where the closure was so that she could have more of a natural look. I sprayed um, the closure down and I actually found a technique on Instagram where when you have a closure you can sew the middle of the closure down and then the edges so that it's super duper secure um, I am not the super weaveologist wigologist doing weaves and wigs every day no but I've been doing hair a long time and I do what's best for my clientele and as I keep practicing I'm just gonna keep getting better I keep watching new videos tutorials techniques HD transparent what's better what looks better on certain clients um so that is just what I've been working on if you're gonna continue doing here try to keep up with what's going on with the trends and see what works best for your client make sure you continue to educate them let them know about what's best for their hair about keeping their hair in too long touch-ups not pulling hair off when it's not supposed to be pulled off so those are certain things that you can do to educate your clients i am a teacher first and it's always important for me to make sure that when my client leaves for me they're comfortable in doing their hair and they won't feel shy about um, maintaining what i've done for them so i put on the closure first and now i'm adding in the bundles um it's funny with bundles when I first started my business, I was purchasing bundles like I was in the trap. I spent like $3,000 on bundles and it took forever in my eyes to get them off, like a year. 
people were like, you're natural, what you doing selling weave? Oh, you should sell curly hair, you should sell this, you should sell that. I had everything and it didn't matter. People will pick what they want to pick. You'll find your customers and your clientele when the time is right and they will come to you for certain things. But do not drive yourself crazy trying to purchase every single thing for every single client. Stick to what you would like to sell, what you're making money on, and scrap the rest. That's the best advice that I can give you. Cost efficient advice that I can give you. Um, so this is, I believe, 16 inches of straight hair. And this was the end. Uh, we had to glue that baby down, do some edges. I mean, my pin curls were kind of messy, but this is how it looks when it's down. And she loved it. Thanks for watching.